Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Right, so for Gavanic Cell Part 2, what you are going to learn. Right, so first express half cell equation and the overall cell reaction equation. And then illustrate a Gavanic cell using a cell notation. Now, let us learn how to write the half cell equation at anode and cathode. At the anode, zinc atom is oxidized to zinc 2 plus ions and release 2 electrons. At the cathode, copper 2 plus ion is reduced by gaining 2 electrons and form copper atom. Since the number of electrons at both anode and cathode half cell are the same, we can simply cancel out the electrons. Both zinc atom and copper 2 plus ions are rectangles. Hence, both species are written on the left side of the overall cell reaction. Copper atom and zinc 2 plus ions are the products. Both species are written on the right side of the overall equation. The overall equation also can be represented by cell notation. A cell notation is a shorthand way of expressing a certain reaction in an electrochemical cell. The anode half cell is written on the left side, whereas the cathode half cell is on the right side of the cell notation. Since zinc atom dissolves and produces zinc 2 plus ions, zinc electrode is written first at the left side and followed by zinc 2 plus ion. Since zinc electrode is in the solid state, while zinc 2 plus ion is in aqueous, the single vertical line is written to represent the phase boundary. The salt bridge is represented by drawing a double vertical line. Since copper 2 plus ions reduce to copper atom, copper 2 plus ion is written after the double vertical line. Since both copper 2 plus ions and copper atom is in different phase, the single vertical line is written to show the phase boundary. Okay, now we move to the first example. Write the overall reaction for galvanic cell below. Giving to you the galvanic cell diagram. So from here, we can notice that the anode here is referred to the Mn. And it will produce Mn2 plus ion with a concentration of 1.0 molar. And the cathode half cell is referred to the CD. It will form CD2 plus ion with a concentration of 1.0 molar. So how that you can answer this question, right? So first of all, you have to write this half cell equations at anode. That is, Mn solid undergoes oxidation and produce Mn2 plus equals and release 2 electron. Well, for the cathode, where reduction occurs, Cd2 plus equals react with 2 electron and produce Cd solid. So next, you can cancel out the number of electrons since uh, in both sides, the number of electrons is equal. Okay, so for the overall cell equation, you can write Recton can compile it in the same side that is at the left side of the arrow. So Mn solid, we add with Cd2 plus equals Kn produce. As for the product, we can compile it and write it on the right side, the arrow. That is Mn2 plus equals plus Cd solid. So this is the right way how to write the overall cell Reaction equation. Okay, for the second example, example number two, the overall cell reaction equation for a chemical cell is given as below. Write the cell notation for this cell. So, this is the overall equation. Uh, by using this overall equation, you have to identify the oxidation and reduction reaction. So, based on the same species, CO3 plus and CO2 plus, there is decreasing in oxidation number from positive 3 now become positive 2. So, CO3 plus is undergoes reduction and reduction occur at cathode. Okay, copper and copper 2 plus, that is increasing in oxidation number from 0 to positive 2. So, therefore, copper undergoes oxidation and oxidation occur at anode. Take a look at the first uh, cell notation 
sample answer. So from here, we notice that there is two mistake. Okay, for the first example here, for first answer here. So first is refer to the coefficient. Even though there is coefficient in the overall cell reaction, however, when you write the cell notation, the stoichiometric coefficient is not included in the cell notation. Okay, so cannot write the coefficient in the cell notation. The second mistake here, right, so for the half cell equation at cathode, so for the rectum and the product, the face is the same. Equus, equus. So you cannot use the single vertical line because the single vertical line is used to show the face boundary. For example, like at half cell at anode, copper is in solid, copper 2 plus is in aqueous. So therefore, you can use single vertical line to show the face boundary. Right, so how that we can fix this answer? Okay, so you can write like this. So for the single vertical line, you can replace it by using comma. Because uh, the component here is in the same phase. So that is why you have to use comma. Okay, and no coefficient in the cell notation. This is the correct answer for the how to write the cell notation. Please remember one more thing, phase and concentration must be written in the cell notation like this. So just write one molar, one molar, one molar for the species at aqueous. Okay.